two things that have brought these women to astronomical heights of pride. That's the feminism and social media, man. And you really, you can't compete with that. You can't compete with that, okay? So what's your next course of action? You know it's not gonna last forever. Social media and feminism is not gonna last forever. What's gonna destroy social media and feminism when all hell breaks loose? Now the ball is gonna be in our court. Now these women are gonna run us down because they're gonna need one thing, guidance and protection. That's where we come in. And it really won't matter what you look like as long as you're a real man and you can stand in the face of adversity and you have guidance and protection or they're gonna run you down, man. All kind of beautiful bitches gonna run you down, man. It's gonna make your head spin, okay? Come on, brothers. Come on. Isaiah 4. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy, even every one that is written among the living in Jerusalem. And the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion, and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. They're gonna come your way. So much so that you won't know what to do when they come your way. So many of them are gonna be coming down, beating down your door, because you have the one thing they don't have. You have stability. Why? Because you have the understanding of this truth, this knowledge, which is gonna keep you stable. Isaiah 33 and 6, the scriptures do not lie, brothers. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You ever seen old films of the Beatles, when them bitches were chasing them, running them down? Some of them women really wanted to get at the Beatles, because they were on top. You know, women are hypergamous. They like a guy that has power, they like a guy that's on top. Well, guess what, brothers? We got the power. It just hasn't fully manifested itself yet, but we do have the power. The scriptures is powerful. Hebrews 4 and 12. We got the power. So when the power fully manifests itself, brothers, brothers, them women are going to be running us down. Isaiah 4 and 1, man. Seven women. And that's just a completion. It's going to be more than seven. Seven women shall take hold of one man, saying we'll eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. You know what that means? That means we're going to come out of that feminist mind state. We're going to come back to the mind state of we were created to serve you men. We're ready to serve you now. And guess what? The ball will be in your court. You'll choose, okay, I'll take you. You'll be like Jim Kelly in the movie Enter the Dragon. I'll take you. I'll take you. I'll take you. I ain't going to deal with you. Please understand, it's been a hard day and I'm very tired. Go check out the scene with Jim Kelly. Well, guess what? That's what's coming our way, brothers. So relax, man. Take it easy. Relax. Be like that coiled serpent. Know when to strike. You know? <laughs> hey, Yahweh Shai said it. He said, be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Okay? Our time is coming, man. But you gotta be cool. You gotta be cool. Take it easy. All right? <laughs> Take it easy, Breezy. Isaiah 4. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. Good evening, judges. Biologically, sex is designed for one main purpose, procreation. Anything else, that's extra. The female reproductive cycle comes around once a month for a man.
It's every day. For each sexual act, the woman's one egg is matched by the man's 120 million sperm cells. Now let's do some calculation. 120 million sperm cells a day, every day, as opposed to one egg a month, every month, means, assuming all the cells are viable, that it will take only 30 men to impregnate all the women in the world. This points to one clear fact. A man is, by nature, polygamous. Monogamy and fidelity are unnatural situations promulgated by religious beliefs and social pressures. Take those away, every man will cheat. It's simply biological. Now let's look at the extra. It's a known fact that women, for the most part, are more emotional than men. So it's natural that after a sexual encounter, she'll be attached. But because a man is visual and logical in nature, there's no emotion involved. For him, it's just a physical release that's got nothing to do with love. A man loves his woman by protecting and providing for her. Period. It's really quite simple for a man. The physical and the emotional, two separate entities. Thank you. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious. And the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel.